Good evening, friends. It is uh, Saturday the 26th, uh, no, the 25th of September, and I have allowed this week to entirely get away from me. Um, welcome to my vlog. My name is Nina Niskonen, and this is my sewing journey. This week we are still working on the Chilton trench coat from Cashmerette Patterns, except this one is double-breasted instead of single-breasted. Uh, right now, um, it is time for the lining. And there's quite a lot to get done. And as I mentioned, this week has entirely, uh, entirely escaped me. Uh, so, you know, let's get to it. All right, here we are making that one last seam on the front side uh, lining right. And this time we are actually sewing it on uh, the right sides together instead of the wrong sides together. Because yes, folks, I can be taught. Good afternoon. It is Sunday. Um, <laughs> I am I'm very sore. Uh, yesterday we did my new gym routine, and um, it is basically a routine that is designed to test the limits of my endurance, and it is certainly doing what it's supposed to do. So today I am very sore. Anyway, um, I didn't manage to get to more of the lining yesterday, so today we are going to finish this lining, damn it. Um, first up, right now I'm at the stage where I have both the fronts assembled correctly this time. Um, the seams pressed open and um, at some point I'm going to need to trim the seam allowances with uh, with pinking shears so that uh, they don't fray any further because th the silk is very prone to fraying and we do not want that at all so that's what's going to happen but I think I'm not going to do that until I have the entire lining assembled and ready to put together with the with the shell because um, at that point uh, I will have all the seam allowances done and pressed and that means that I will be able to do it all at once so that I don't have to do the pinking multiple times. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. Uh, I will see you on the other side. And thus we return to the lining. This time I am sewing the... the fish dart, fish eye darts, the darts on the back. There are words for these things, but I cannot remember. The darts are sewn exactly as on the front, which means, yes. Anyway, after that, uh, I did some stay stitching on the kick pleat and then I am sewing up the center back seam. As you can see, it is going swimmingly. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but apparently it is, ah yes, I am uh, sewing the kick pleat on the other side. And I think I am 
here I am actually sewing the center back seam, which, you know, it's going swimmingly, <laughs> as I mentioned before. And seriously, it's... <sighs> the thing with this particular project is that it is... Um, the silk is very frayable. Also, the last bit over there was me sewing the... Um, the center back top uh, ease. And here I am just sewing the back neck facing on, which also is going pretty well. Although it is kind of uh, annoying to sew at times, it is pretty good. Um, I'm also, at this point, I'm also adding the uh, hanging loop for the for the coat out of just some twill tape that has the word handjurt in in it uh, which is uh, Swedish for handmade and here I am sewing up the side seams on the uh, lining making very, very sure to put the fronts and back pieces wrong, uh, right sides together so that the wrong sides are always facing me and the sewing machine at the same time. Yes, again, I can be taught. This is a matter of learning very very hard one learner in any case that also happens to be very nicely done um, as I was saying the silk is very frayable and I am <laughs> I'm not happy to be handling it but at least it's almost over I will soon be done with the silk and then I will just be working on the outside. And here I am sewing the sleeve seams together. I could not make out which which side of the sleeve lining was which, so I just chose at random and made sure I had two parts that were uh, two sleeves that were for the opposite arms so that I did not wind up with two left arms or two right arms because that would have been tragic and I doubt I would have survived that experience on the whole the sleeves were much nicer to me than the silk lining uh, I don't know why but the the sleeves don't seem to be fraying as much which is very nice and here we are just finishing the rest well I did not manage to actually attach the outer shell and the uh, The lining. Um, the lining, however, is all but finished. I need to set in this, uh, well, I need to press all the seams. I need to pink all the, all the, all the seam allowances and I need to set in the sleeves and then it's done. And then I can start attaching these two pieces together and that's going to be exciting. And after that, there is a ton of finishing stuff to do. But I am going to try my very best to get all that done next week. Uh, I think it should 
be a fairly uh, doable week at the day job, which means that I should not uh, have the same kinds of issues that I've been having the last couple of weeks uh, due to, well, basically my day job taking up all of my, all of my time. All of it. Just all of it. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I did take a break uh, there uh, at some point to actually finish putting in the the shoulder pads so that I could have the best chance of actually actually being able to put in the um, lining but alas, that was not to be right now. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and I will see you next Thursday.